Our group project will be describing how the study of mice mutants led to the discovery of the leptin feedback signal. Our study is exploring the phenotype of weight gain. There are two different mutations of mice that lead to weight gain. Obese mice are mice that have a mutation of the OB gene. Diabetic mice have a mutation of the DB gene. For the remainder of this video, we will be referring to the mice by their mutated genes. Researchers were interested in these genes because mutations produce identical phenotypes of weight gain. Scientists hypothesized that there was a ligand receptor interaction that suppresses eating. In other words, normal wild-type mice would produce the ligand and the receptor, which interact and lead to a normal eating drive. A major technique was parabiosis. Parabiosis is when the abdomens of two mice are surgically attached together. In this experiment, different combinations between the mutated and normal wild-type mice were created through parabiosis so that the exchange of substances in the blood occurred between the two. First, researchers looked at a combination between DB and normal mice. When they were attached, the wild-type mice rapidly lost weight, while the diabetic mouse rapidly gained weight. This is because the DB mouse produces but doesn't respond to a signal to stop eating, but the normal type receives a signal and its eating drive is suppressed. Next, the OB and normal mice were combined. Both the OB mouse and the normal mouse had a slight but negligible weight gain. This is because the OB mouse has a receptor but does not produce a signal to stop eating. The signal supplied by the normal mouse helped the OB mouse control its eating. Both gained weight because the signal was diluted between two mice. The last combination was between the DB and OB mice. The DB mouse rapidly gained weight and the OB mouse lost weight. This is because the mutated OB mouse cannot encode the signal that inhibits eating. It does, however, have the receptor, so when it is attached to the DB mouse, which produces the signal, the ligand receptor interaction occurs, causing eating suppression. The DB mouse does produce the signal, but cannot respond because it has no receptors, which explains the weight gain. In this experiment, we explored two mutations that interrupt a ligand receptor interaction. It is a negative feedback signal because it suppresses eating drive. The OB mouse did not produce the ligand, while the DB mouse did not produce receptors. The signal that tells your body that you were full and that you should stop eating is called the leptin feedback signal. Without this signal, you will continue to eat. Leptin was the protein that was the ligand in this feedback signal. The OB gene codes for leptin. That means that the mouse with an OB mutation will not have any of the leptin ligand. The DB gene codes for the leptin receptor. Mice with mutations of the DB gene do not have any receptors. The receptor is in the ventromedial hypothalamus of the brain. The leptin is produced in adipose tissue throughout the body. Our take home message is that the discoveries of leptin and its receptor provided evidence that fat tissue produces a negative feedback signal for control of food intake and body weight.